Eve, good evening everybody and welcome to the long form intercity, intercity long form improv jam. Welcome everybody if you are on the Zoom or on Facebook uh, watching us. So this will be a great evening with a lot of jam sets and also a headliner. And so in order to start I will share my screen with you and let's discover or remind our gem guidelines. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's discover our gem guidelines. guidelines. So, uh, everybody who wants to play has been assigned to a musical or non-musical team, has been randomly assigned. And so the format um, is a montage, it's a 15-minute set, uh, the scenes can be related or not related, and when you are on the, a scene and you want to change into another scene, so you can uh, tag out, for instance, you say, tag out Angel, and then you turn on your camera and you start a new scene. Or we can use the sweep. We have here all a tradition with sweep. So I invite you all to turn your, on your cameras and let's do the sweep together. Okay, are you ready? Sweet. Let's go. Sweep. 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 I'm done, Pardo. Okay, thank you very much. So, you know here the, the code, the clue to change into another scene. And now, okay, so there will be a, a time warning. Every t team will have a timekeeper, and this timekeeper will pop up when you have only two minutes left. So, look out for your timekeeper. Yes, uh, and so if you are um, not playing on this set, we ask you please to uh, mute or your audio and video. Uh, if uh, your team is playing and you are on the back line, then you can leave your audio on uh, so that you can support your team with your laughter or um, to be easy for, for you to um, change, to pop in and pop out of the scenes. And oh my god, we have here Colin White who was muted and that's, that was because <laughs> he had some uh, background noise, maybe uh, he had uh, some dogs, some cats close to him doing a lot of noise, so he was muted. This may happen to you also, but don't worry, it's only because of the background noise. And here are some uh, Zoom settings uh, indication. So if, if you haven't done it yet, uh, you can um, hide your non-video participants. And uh, we advise you to do that. Uh, it's very easy. You go to the video settings and you check that box. Yeah, like this, it's easier for you uh, to watch here the jam. Also, the gallery view, it's the best, the best way to view our gem. So, choose that option. And now, oh my god, we are streaming on Facebook. Yes, yes, um, you can have your minutes, your five minutes. So, uh, you can also share the link with your friends, uh, with your family, and just spread the word around. And maybe next time they will be also here playing with us and uh, we will be all having fun together. So, now. Okay, so we really want to create here a safe space, a respectful space. So we have here some sensitive topics, some topics we ask you to please avoid or be careful about. Topics like uh, political, COVID related, religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing, 
for instance. Uh, these are just examples, not an exhaustive list, because we all come from different countries, from different backgrounds, and we really want to create this safe space. And uh, we also have a list of banned topics, topics that are really not allowed, like flashing each other, rape, kidnapping, suicide, racism, sexism, or other isms, mental illness, um, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of a joke. Uh, because, yes, we want to have a space, a fun space here, and a safe one. So, also uh, uh, worried about that, we have this timeout rule. So, if you uh, feel that uh, one of the GEM guidelines was violated, if you uh, felt uncomfortable uh, during a, a scene, during a set, you can turn on your camera, so everybody can do it, um, turn on your camera and call timeout. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with this option, you can also message uh, here the intercity volunteers uh, or the the team host. Uh, we have we are here a community uh, with a lot of volunteers, people that want to help. So we can just message one, one of us, and we will help you with this situation. And now, some tips uh, for improve on Zoom, some very useful tips. So, one person speaking at a time, that uh, we can apply these uh, to everyday life also. Uh, safe web, treat, treat other players with respect, don't be rude. Um, use your actual face. Uh, you can use like a puppet or something, but please, uh, we want to, we like to see your face. You have a beautiful face, so uh, don't forget. Um, and then self-manage your playing time because you are not alone on the team. If you realize there is someone uh, who is more shy, just encourage them also to, you can tag them in, in the scene, and you'll help them to participate Yes, so when improvising music, you don't have to worry about lag, no, because here we have a wonderful, wonderful team and we have a wonderful musical director. Yes, and the one, the musical director for tonight is Mark Anderson. Mark Anderson, give it up for Mark Anderson. Yay! Thank you, Mark Anderson. Yay. For... Yeah, for... This beautiful man! <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mark Anderson, for supporting Intercity. And we will also show his Venmo if you want to give him a tip for his work here on the jam, his participation. Uh, so, uh, and then we, after all these guidelines, we ask you to have fun, to laugh, uh, because the jam is a, it's a way for, for you and for all. All, all together to have a great time and uh, improvise and have fun together. And now, oh my god, uh, just stick around to the end because we will have jump sets, we will have a headliner, and also we will have a, a line game. At the end of the jam, we will feature the troop for next week. Oh my god, because Intercity happens every, every week when we have a new teams, new headliners every week. It's amazing. So at the end, you can also uh, hang out a little bit. Uh, you can um, meet uh, more other people. And uh, we have, you have the possibility to draw, to draw. It's, uh, there's a little, a little surprise we have also at the end. And please spread the word, uh, share this Facebook link, uh, and um, have fun here. And now, oh my god, oh my god, now if you aren't aware yet of the headliner for tonight, let's discover it, please, some drum rolls. And the headliner for tonight is dun, 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 Timeless Improve Double Nickel, yes, from Woo! Davenport. Oh my god! Yes, so 
these will be the headliners so uh, stick up to the end to also to watch this wonderful wonderful show okay so now we already know the guidelines it's time to call the host of the team one the the because today today uh we will have only uh, two teams a musical and a non-musical one uh but we'll have a longer set uh yes twice 25 minute set it's a great op opportunity for every jammer to have a, a big moment of um, improvisation and i will call right now our host for the team one uh, which will be Nick. Welcome, Nick. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Anil. Great to see you. Uh, great. So uh, please, everyone, welcome to your screen. Uh, our first team, Kevin Wilcox from New York, New York. Karen Klein Tardif from somewhere in Texas. Uh, Greg the Whale Little from San Francisco, California. Bastino Solis from Las Vegas, Nevada. And Don Robertson also stuck somewhere in Texas. And keeping time for you tonight will be Brian Sebi. He looks like this. And you have about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, you'll get a two-minute warning. And so uh, keep a lookout for Brian because he'll pop in to give you that warning. And enjoy. Give it a hand for team one. Uh, I'm going to AD it for a second and clarify that because it's two teams, it's 25 minutes and some change. Uh, I don't know. Eh, it's whatever. You see Brian, then we're gonna we're gonna acknowledge the crap out of him all stuff. Speaking of which, uh, if you had to acknowledge somebody at a fancy event, uh, who would it be? A real or a non-real person? I should stop asking for gets. Uh, what is a what's a what's not a pineapple? Sunshine. 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 I heard sunshine. Sunshine is the sunshine is the non-person suggestion, and away we go. Not a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> I see you have some. It's the that sunshine. It get uh, really. It gets in the window and like takes all my water away from my body, and I need, I need to put more back in it. It's so stinking hot. It really is. It's that a uh, climate change. I mean, not that <laughs> it's political, but hot. <laughs> no, it's it's Texas. It's te this is normal for Texas. Yes. yes. Ninety-five degrees today. Ninety-five stinking degrees today. Yeah, I guess it, it gets this way every year. I maybe um maybe we I should mean, move. I, I, you know, you'll get used to it eventually. You don't have to move. I mean, your your blood will thin. That's that's what they say to you Yankees. Your blood oh, it's wow. not a you thing. I used to be a Yankee too. So. Hey neighbors, hey neighbors. Oh, hey. don't y'all just love this little cool spell we got? It's only 95 degrees today. Uh um I, I've just been here for for a day, and and it's it's extraordinarily hot. You're saying that this is this is one of the cool periods of it. It, it is. It is truly. I, I've been here for a few years, but yeah, it's actually my kids are wearing hoodies and gloves, winter gloves. Absolutely. Well, I just brought y'all over. I made a fresh batch of sweet tea, oh. and I thought y'all want some. You're so sweet. Thank you. Sun tea. So what we do is we set it out in the sun and we let the sun heat it up. So uh, it's oh. extra good. Oh. Wait a second. I was going to ask if it was cold, but I feel like here you've already answered my question. With a... Oh no! You got to provide your own ice. I do. They have. Um, do they have that around here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's almost impossible to find a drink without ice here. I, uh, um, I think I, I think I might move. I think I might move. It's it's been great. It's been great knowing you guys here. But I I feel like the um. Well, Tag wow. out, Don and Karen. <clears throat> Um, Hello, welcome. 
We got a lovely house here for you on the seventh circle. Don't worry, it's only going to get up to 94 today. Oh, um, uh, thank yes. Wait, do I, is that, is this a, is this the actual house? I, yes, yes, it's just very far away. You see, this is oh. the, this is a uh, Jim. He, he's actually 74 feet tall. <laughs> Oh, that's... Yes. Well, you know, I mean, you know, we're we're all demons down here, but you know, we're 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 very we're very open to humans coming down and you know joining us. You know, it's is he gonna it, be it, holding it while I'm in it? You got a problem with that, buddy? <laughs> no, I do not. I want to be now, clear about that. If you don't want a house that's being held by a giant demon, we do have some other homes. We have one that is, it, it's only half submerged in a lake of fire. Only half oh, submerged. Oh yeah. Now, I do have to warn you, it'll be a bit warmer than 94 when you get too close to that house. <sighs> you know, have... it'll, be, it'll be a bit, it'll be more like Texas hot. I've been there. That's where I just was before I, I guess I died and I <laughs> well, came Well, here. you can have the house being held by Jim. We also have the house that's made out of bees. Oh, Jesus. There's like, there's like two options and they're both really bad. Do you, is there a third? Oh, no. we All the options are really bad, but we have a lot more than two. We have the house being held by Jim. We have the house submerged, submerged in fire. We have the house of bees. Uh, we have the house um, where there's a metal band living below you and above you. It's Tell actually a metal clog band. Tell me this. What would you recommend? Honestly, I would recommend some bees because they make the most delicious honey. All right. I mean, seriously, you just have to wipe down the wall. I mean, you'll get sunk a few times, but you wipe down the wall and, ooh, look, honey. I'm sold. I I will take the house with the bees. Good. I just have to go help some, you know, other customers now. Anyway, Jim will show you to the house of bees. Thanks. I really, I mean, under the circumstances, I suppose I can't complain. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, neighbor. <laughs> uh, I... Um... Well, it's a lot cooler here than Texas, isn't it? Yeah, I, um, I guess I never made it back away from Texas. No, no. When when, when you walked away to get the ice, just giant meteor hit us all. We're all here now. Oh man, you know somehow that makes me feel better. I, I feel like it's I'm less less lonely. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. I, um, I am curious though, and this is. I didn't feel like I was a particularly bad person. Were you a bad person? Well, I did call some people names on Facebook. What names did you call them? Oh, you don't want to know. Oh. Well, uh, I have done some bad things too. You tell me, I. I, I didn't I make the cut to get to heaven. I um I did a thing at the back of an Arby's one time uh that I don't feel comfortable talking about, but it did involve um, uh, you know, when you drink a lot of water you forget that water is um a good part of your body and sometimes uh you just can't hold it and um uh, and uh, sometimes one of the angels gets offended by it, but you know, duty calls. So they kind of set you up for failure. That's why I'm here. But did anybody, did anybody make it to, I guess we'll, I guess we'll never know. I guess we, we'd have to like be absolutely sure that somebody wasn't here in order to know if they were. I brought some lemonade today. Oh, that's sweet of you. Well, it's, I, it's really weird that we all would be neighbors in hell, too. 
Um, God hates animals. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Well, I love and animals. So, they... you know, all things considered, that I bees and raccoons uh, count your blessings, I guess. What do you say about bees? Well, I have Duh! some. I, they, I, I was confined. And sweet. <laughs> Emperor Caesar, I bring word from the front. Tell me. The army has rebelled and they are marching on Rome. They intend to uh, slaughter you and appoint their general as the new Caesar. Tell me better news. <laughs> um, well, the, uh, I found a kitten this morning. Go on. Uh, he's uh, just right here. See, cute little kitten. Um, Exceptional. Um, I do suggest, though, that when the army reaches Rome, uh, you let the kitten go. Because, you know, I mean, well, remember, you were a general uh, before, uh, I you never, know, you came to Rome and sacked the previous the Caesar. I will pet the kitten. Okay. Take your right, uh, rumors I, yeah. of destruction elsewhere. Okay, I need to go figure out why I'm fish eyeing right now. So, you did look weird. Imperial matters settled and seen. Hey, uh, Karen. Karen, um, I got some bad news for you. Oh, no. Um, what is it? I, um,. I had a friend online tell me that Texas doesn't exist. Well, this is the thing. If you live in Texas, it technically exists, but outside of Texas, <laughs> y'all don't really exist, is what, what the deal is. The rest of the country doesn't matter at all. So look, I guess the inverse could be true. Uh, look, I just I just happen to have a map of of Texas and just no a map of the United States <laughs> and just where we thought Texas may or may not have been. It's just a giant crevasse. <laughs> correct, correct. Um, you can just go ahead and and just pencil in Gulf of Mexico and just leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> good. So, so what you think is Texas is actually just an extension of a body of water. Well, I mean, it's so humid, it might as well be. <laughs> That's, you know, humidity and oceans are two different things, albeit uh, one coincides with the other, but it just, this feels wrong. This feels wrong. Why, are you not bothered by this? No, because I'm actually in Texas, so we kind of know what's going on here. We don't like to tell everybody else about it, though. Do you, do you, you know? hear the yeah, riots yeah, of people... Do. Do you hear the riots of people outside this window as I open it? They're all yelling that Texas doesn't exist. Check it out. Texas doesn't exist. Texas doesn't There's exist. no Texas. Texas, Texas exist. is a myth. Texas is your imagination. See, like you're not no, bothered by any of that. No, that means they won't move here, and that means our housing market's going to be stable. Um, funny you should say We're that. We move to Texas even though it doesn't exist. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, uh, people are yelling weird things about the housing market that I don't know if are true or not. Uh, let's hear that same crowd again. The only places we can possibly afford are places that don't exist, like Texas. Let's move there. <laughs> Texas is a figment of your imagination. There are no houses for anyone. You hear that? You hear that one guy? Do you hear that one guy too? I think he lives in San Francisco, so I, I gotta listen to that guy. <laughs> Well, you know, we don't listen to people from California at all. They don't exist. They're, they're <laughs> people from California. Don't California are my of Texas. Their own imagination. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. You might want to be careful when you say that because everybody who's been yelling outside this window is from California. <laughs> oh, tag out Faustino well, and Karen. Bring in. Uh, possibly bring in. <laughs> I guess bring in Greg. <laughs> hello. <laughs> well. Hello, welcome to Texas. You thought it didn't exist, but it does, and I'm here to sell you a house. Uh, I know it doesn't exist, and if it did, 
it would not have any houses for sale. You are clearly well. A as it happens, salesman. there are actually plenty of houses here in Texas. Now they're not as good as what you might expect somewhere else. I mean, for it example, this home bigger. Well, this home you thought you would have a home made of bees. No, this home Did over they? here is just one giant bee. <laughs> Is it you live inside the bee? This is like deja vu. I, I, yes, I we have a home back here that's built inside oh. a shark. Are you sure Texas doesn't exist? This really <laughs> feels like a place that doesn't exist. Well, I, Texas is. I, li I live in the thorax of the bee. We can be neighbors. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe any of you. I need. Yeah. To well, a lot of people here. don't believe in Texas, <laughs> but no. I assure you, Texas. You don't look. Re you look like you're in a fisheye lens. Yes, I, I know. Am. What's weird is I'm not supposed to, but yet that's Texas. It's, no, honey, it's, this is the house I want. This is the house I want. Honey, honey, don't get, don't be deceived. That is. That house could not possibly exist anywhere. Anywhere oh, that, could that the house. That house is real. No, it is no. very real. It is too, very Texas. It's too it's, red it's, and blue and white. I think it's yeah. a house that's in New Bern, uh, Connecticut instead. Yeah, well, it, it's a exist. copy of a house I, that's in New Bern, Connecticut. But this one is made it's out of, it's made entirely out of jerky. <laughs> That is we painted with food coloring. Ooh. Even that flag hanging from the house is jerky. Because I mean, this I'm, is Texas-ish. I'm confused. Tell me, do you believe what he's saying? I, I, I don't know if I can trust my senses anymore. Everything seems like it's bigger and somehow more in yes. favor of the oh. nation. Of yes. Texas. Look, Texas? look at it from this angle, honey. Look at it. Look at it. I'm, yes. When you put it looks it, great for jerky. Now. Even the uh, windows are jerky. Tag out, Greg and Kevin. Keep Dawn. Um, <laughs> so I know you've been a real good job of convincing your husband to live in a house. I just want to see how many Zoom backgrounds of the same house you have to showcase this house. Because I'm curious: <laughs> is this the actual house you live in, or how many pictures of the same house do you happen to have on your computer? <laughs> Well, you know, when, when you're house hunting, you just have to go and look for everything you can. This one here is my particular favorite here. Let me Ooh. show you this one. If ever I forget what state I'm in, all I have to do is go outside of my house and look at my garage. Hey, Ma, check out this house. That's someone's house hunting in Texas. We've got a whole neighborhood full, just like this. See, Karen? Just like... Yes! Come on over! Let's have some sweet tea and barbecue! Hey, Greg, if you tap your heels three times, you can also have exactly the same house in somewhere in Texas. You know what I love about Texas is that on the one, people think that Texas is a nationalistic state, but it's not. They don't care about America. They care about Texas. That star, Wait. that's the Texas star. Deep from the heart of Texas. <laughs> that's a law. You have to clap after that phrase is said. Well, my I sister, live in. A, my I sister live in lives a, in Texas, so I, I, uh, I have to love it. And I, I live in Nevada, so I don't have to adhere to your laws. <laughs> so what do you got that Texas? Ooh, you don't even exist according to. Tag out everyone but Dawn. <laughs> Ma'am, I I have some news. Um, well, uh, your um, your friend uh, was uh, crossing over uh, into Texas, and of course, as you know, everything is bigger in Texas, but it's all bigger in proportion. Unfortunately, he spent a little too long. Uh, standing on the border so half of him was Texas size and the other half was Oklahoma size and well he basically split in two 
It's not the first time I've heard that happen. Well, anyway, we've uh, brought you the uh, Texas-sized half. Um, since the other half was in Oklahoma, we just left it there. I wouldn't want it any other way. I I understand. Uh, anyway, uh, we also um, brought you half of a pot plant. I mean, not like pot the, but it was in That's a pot. That's illegal here. That is illegal no, here. But it was in a pot. It's just like a oh. philodendron that oh, was in a, a pot. Oh, a potted plant. Right. Um, and for, like I said, it's half of one because, well, your friend was holding it. So it's also half the pot with the dirt. Um, yeah, he was also uh, holding um, apparently a, uh, a lottery ticket. Um, so we just brought you the Texas-sized half of the lottery ticket. Um, you got three numbers right. Um, I the Oklahoma half had the other three numbers, but again, it was in Oklahoma. We didn't want to reach across for it. No. And I mean, Oklahoma is a little bit too north of the Mason-Dixon line for me. Mm. And um, also, of course, um, half of a bust of Julius Caesar. Um, tag out everybody to bring in uh, Karen. Do you hear what they said about Oklahoma? See what the yeah, I was gonna say, Nelson, get in here. I'm calling it Nelson, get in here. You hear what they said about Oklahoma? They're making fun what? of our state. <laughs> what what is up with that? Why are people picking on Oklahoma? Oklahoma, the winds go blowing across the plains in Oklahoma. Yeah, boomer sooners, that's what I'm saying. Let's that's go. Right. Boomer sooners, that's boomer right. Sooners. Yeah. And so leave us alone and get me out of here. Karen, are you, do you swear your allegiance to Oklahoma? <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, Oklahoma's so nice, we named our biggest city after it. Oklahoma oh. City! Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma! Greg, do you swear your allegiance to Oklahoma? You know, I feel sorry for Oklahoma. Oklahoma is... Like, what? You know, all people know about it is tornadoes. And I've been what? there... What? I, when I was there... I was really worried about tornadoes. That's a myth. You know I've lived here over 60 years and I've, well, I've seen them drop down close, but I've only seen like seven in 60 plus years. That's hey, I think we, And Nelson and Karen, I think we should kick this guy's ass and send him back to I Texas. Know, you know why Oklahoma has a panhandle? So God can pick up that state and beat everybody else with it. <laughs> what? Let's go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> this is, looks bad. <laughs> there we, go. we we cut to an all out uh like a like a dance battle between Oklahoma and Texas. <laughs> you got nothing on us, Texas. Well at least we got cowboys. Whoops. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <I'm> sweet. <laughs> that was an accident, I promise. <laughs> this citrusy soda, it's like liquid sunshine. It ain't all that. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, I mean, it, it's converting the the hydrogen inside me into helium right now. <sighs> oh, uh oh, oh no! It is. I didn't think it at first, but now that you mention it, it is converting the hydrogen into helium. Maybe and it's starting to float away. I could feel it. I could I feel it. Oh, wow. It's like that scene in uh, Willy Wonka. You have yeah. to you yeah. have to burp a bit yeah. to get yourself back down. Oof, I'm glad they did. There's that fan. They're going to die. Oh. Kind of a scary scene. Yeah. Well, well anyway, let's... Uh, uh, yeah. Night to King 4, your move. Knight to King 4. 
Hmm. Thought of everything except for that. Can I resign? Am I allowed to do that? Um, I've been waiting like for an hour to play this guy. So can you move it along, please? I want to go next. All right, I, 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 I resign. Your move. All right. Well. All right, so uh, I'll take your uh, 100 150 $200. <laughs> hey, here in this park, we play yeah, are chess. You, are you crying? I, I forgot that I had $200 on this game, and this hustler reminded me of that fact after I resigned because of my losing position. And I just brought an Egg McMuffin to give as wager. Why would you just give actual currency? That's brilliant. Well, I want to do what he did. I want... You, you already to... promised him $200. I feel like promised is a strong word. I thought that there was a chance that I would win this game. He Come on, hurry up, man. Pay him up. You seemed oh. worse. You seemed worse at this at first. Like you didn't set up the pieces correctly, and now I'm standing in front are... of a pile of gold. Is that what that is? In the park. It's clearly not gold. Somebody would have stolen it if that was gold. This is egg fake. McMuffins, man. Just... Yeah, it, it's gold, dollar bills, and egg McMuffins, <laughs> and we're in a park in the middle of New York City, and nobody's trying to take it. All right, you take that two hundred dollars, and I bet you're not going to win this guy's egg. McMuffin. Um, uh, tag why. out Kevin and Greg, bring in Don and Karen really quickly. Hey, do you see that guy's um that that stack of money and egg McMuffins? I say we take that for Texas. Texas. Heck yeah. yeah! Let's do it. Let's do it. Tag in uh, Kevin and Greg. We fight for the egg McMuffins and gold. Texas. He's trying to take our McMuffins. Well, <laughs> back. tell you what, Texas. Yeah. We'll play chess for it. My poly gold against your state. Well, joke's on you. Texas doesn't even exist. Boomer Sooners. Dang it! Can see. That's the <laughs> 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 Yay! Give it up for Team One! <laughs> Woo! Yay! Oh, Team One, thank you, thank you so much. What a, a wonderful set. Um, okay, okay. And if you heard that wonderful music, it, it was Mark Anderson, that is our musical director director for tonight here it is hello mark yes thank you so much for being part of this jam and we also shared his uh, paypal if you want to tip him um so feel free to do it okay thank you thank you mark and and now i see some wonderful people on the audience that have some great great items like mugs or pillows something that make us think about intercity do we have also some other people with this logo at home oh my god oh my god oh my god they are there there are mags intercity mags oh my god thank you thank you brian brian um, and we have also, oh my god, oh, it's wonderful, Karen, thank you, thank you so much, okay, thank you, uh, we have also, oh my god, here Faustino has a wonderful pillow, intercity pillow, so if you, and then, oh my god, in the t-shirt, there, there is all a vari variety of items, so if you want to, um, to, Think about if you think about Intercity when you are not on the jam and you want something to remind you of this wonderful experience, you can go to our Etsy shop. So our on our uh, page you will find it, and uh, you can uh, order some of these items. And now 
it's time to uh, discover what's on the menu. Haha, -ha. what's on the menu? So I will just share here my screen with you. Tan, 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 tan. And let's discover together. So Intercity has a lot of wonderful activities. All of them are free. Uh, so you can you can participate and now here let the screen tell us what's on this menu so if you are a little hungry let me tell you that here you are on the right place at the right time because we are on the intercity long form improv jam and it happens every sunday at 6 p.m pacific or 9 p.m eastern time for instance uh, or at uh, 3 a.m um, like central europe time that's where i am right now and we have also bi-weekly an open mic an open mic and the next one will be tomorrow uh, so you can register to perform and you'll have five, a five minute slot where you can do improve, you can do stand up, you can do music, you can do performance, art, poetry. Uh, you can just show us uh, your talent in five minutes. So be creative and uh, take this opportunity. And if you are a person that uh, like short form games, so we also have a short form jam. And the next one will be also this week on Tuesday. So this week will be a great week of intercity activities, intercity jams. And uh, yes, it, it happens uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific. Yes. So if you would like to participate, just join the jam. And we have also Toast Engine. Oh my god, so many gems, so many gems. And this one is really tasteful, as you can see on the picture. So this gem, uh, in this gem, you can participate in three long form sets in a row. So, uh, and play with different team, different team each round and also with different rules. So it's all an experience and it happens on Sunday mor mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, which is also uh, the afternoon on Europe. So it's a, a time, uh, it's a friendly time for people uh, also in Europe. And of course, the Etsy shop uh, we talked about before. Here you have the link and you can order one of these beautiful items. And oh my god, oh my god, if you <laughs> really enjoy this experience, uh, just let you know that we are accepting submissions for improv teams to headline, uh, video sketches, also musical directors like Mark Anderson or jammers. So if you want to participate, just message uh, Intercity. Uh, we can also send an email here, intercityimprove at gmail.com and uh, we'll be very happy to, to receive uh, your uh, submission to know that you would like to be part also of this wonderful experience and just to let you know all these events okay we have all this information on our facebook page yes because we have a facebook page and also a, a group so you can join this community intercity improved community and you can also uh, post your events for instance your classes your workshops um, and share with all of us that's amazing. Et bon appétit, bon appétit. Uh, because after all these gems, we are not hungry. <laughs> okay, okay. And now it's time to jump into our second team, which is a musical, a musical set. So I will ask our host, Brian, to please um, come on and um, introduce this team. Thank you, Brian. Uh, for our second team tonight, our musical team this evening, we will have uh, Andrea Padilla from Manila, Philippines, Nick Condon from Portland, Oregon, Janice Matias uh, from New Jersey, Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma, Don Slobin from New York, Brian Sebi, hey, that's me, from uh, Chicago land, Illinois, and Angel uh, Kenez from Seville, Spain. 
Uh, and if anyone is in the audience who we didn't get earlier and you haven't played yet and you want to jump in, please do, because it's the last jam team for the night. So thank you. We also would like a suggestion. Uh, so what is something that just makes you want to sing? A good song. A good song. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, we're team two. And this is inspired by a good song. Thank you. Hey, uh, did I hear you singing a good song? You know, I wish I wish I would have been singing a good song. You know, I've been trying to create a good song since my last album, but I just. It's like you don't have the music inside me no more. You know what I mean? Oh, yes, you do. Just, I mean, you just need to concentrate. Just, you've got it in you. I'm here for you. I'm here to encourage you. You've got it in you. You can sing a good song. Look, I know you're my, my agent and you're, you're trying to make a bit, you know, a bit of money off me. But I just, you know, writing a good song is difficult. It's like, you know, you don't know how hard it is to be a musician. It's like, you know... I'm not always a train going down the tracks, you know? Oh. I'm not always a car driving down the road. Sometimes I'm one of those very small cars that gets stopped because it goes over a bump and the bump is much too large for the car. Okay, let me just say that. Do you, did you hear what you just said? Those are good lyrics for a song. Life's not always a train going down the tracks. Maybe you're right. I'm telling you, you got it in you. Just go with the music and and produce that song. Yeah. Life. Not always the train. See what you mean. Now life sometimes is insane. There's sometimes in life we get derailed Yes, and sometimes in life We move like a snail But we each move At our own pace Yes, we each move how we want to Life is not a race if it were, we'd be racing for the finish line. That's just fine, but I'm not quite finished yet. I have more to do. Still, I have no regrets. Life is not a race. We all move. We all move at our own pace. Right. Sing it with me. Life, Life. is not a race. race. We all move, move at, our own, at our own pace. Don't do it with haste. Move at your own pace. You know what to do. This song for you will be true. Move at your own pace. You don't have time to waste. Do it so fine. And I'll meet you. Yes, I'll meet you. At the uh, finish line. Great job.
Jeez, thanks. That was inspirational. Yeah, listen, I know you're my coach, okay? And I'll listen to everything that you tell me to do, but you gave me a song to listen to before the race, which is saying it's not a race and I should just go at my own pace and it doesn't matter if I win. So I'm questioning your ability as my coach. Yeah, me, yeah, me too, because I had quite the same problem, okay? Because I told you, I couldn't sing, and yo, 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 Miss Mary, you told me that that was that didn't matter, and I, I could I could sing for everybody, and while I was on the street, people started running away, and it was so sad. No, I think I have the, the best uh answer to all of your questions i can like uh exchange your vocal cords it's okay you get what you what i'll exchange your voice so you're gonna be the soprano and you're gonna be the bass R right but how wow. does that help for running in a race yeah. oh it will help you run in the race it will give you like 35 percent more breathing ability oh Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, so, okay. Mm. I can now start removing your vocal cords and then I'll get your bass and soprano voice and I'll exchange them now slowly but surely. I'm not in a hurry. I'll exchange your voice. <laughs> If that's what you want to do, you will have your new voice and your new life with you. In my sound, you will see and hear your new voice. I will get them to now. In my Four, three, two, one. I think it's working. Oh, I win. I think I can win. I think I can sing. In the race, I'm ready. We are ready. You're ready to win the race. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I just need uh, three double lattes, two with cinnamon, one with non-fat skim milk. Excuse me. Oh, yes. hi, Jerry. You would say? I was saying, uh, I just, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I need three double lattes, uh, two with cinnamon, one with uh, skim milk. Oh, okay. You're always in a hurry, Jerry. You need to learn how to just take life easy, you know? Oh. You tell me that all the time when I come in here. I wish I could learn to, I wish I could learn to do that. Yeah, have you ever heard of a heart attack? Uh, yes, <laughs> literally every male over 45 in my family has had one. Oh, that was, that should be a uh, indication that you need to slow down and take life easy. Look at me. I don't take ser I don't take my life serious. I'm here, the manager of the coffee cup here. Do you see me running around here getting people's coffee? I I, I don't, which is ah, because I have learned to take life easy. You know, take a moment to sing your own song. 
Well, how can I? I I'm sorry, sir. I just. I you, you, just. I, I'm so sorry. Some, yeah. Uh, Hi, Larry. I could also use some. You see, it works on Larry. It takes Larry 30 minutes to order a cup of coffee. Could you? Because could he's in the now, he's in the present. Explain to me how I can be more like you. Ooh, well, not like me. But you can slow down. Take life. Look, even the pace of the song brings out my anxiety. secrets I'm drinking 50 cups of coffee a day <laughs> and I sped up so much that I buffer wrapped around the whole way so if you just speed up to infinity you'll end up slowing down let go my friend it's time to come around and slow down slow down Take a moment to listen to life sounds. Take a moment, take a sip and slow down. It's hard when life is buzzing all around. But take a breath and slow down. Okay, it's time for you boys to go take your afternoon nap. I can do that. Sweet. Oh my god, oh my god, Lucia, here in this factory, we work all the day, oh, it's so hard. Oh my god, you know, I I don't know, I, I had a dream. I wanted to do morning with my life than making high heels. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, Lucy, that's a wonderful dream. Oh, you know, but keep working, okay, keep working. Because we cannot stop here. Tell me why more not? about your dream. Why not? Can, why can't we stop? Why are we doing this, uh, uh, Angela? Why are we just uh, 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 here? You and I are just in our 20s. We should be enjoying life. We should be out there. I mean, just being like wicked women. Oh my God, Lucia, you, you are, you are dreaming too high. What? You, 
you are dreaming to hide. Look, if the supervisor uh, find us talking like this, uh, we will be fired. No, no, we're not gonna be fired. They need us. Who else is gonna be putting me tar on these high heeled, high ended um shoes? You know what? We huh? should quit our jobs. <gasps> come on, come with me. Let's quit our jobs and start living. There's a world out here. A world. A world. Out here. Out here. Is there? Come on, Let's get out of here. Lucia, I want to believe you. I want to go out of this prison. I want to be free too. But I'm afraid. For ages, ages, walking about their dreams and goals, the house gone, down the toilet. I don't wanna be there. No, 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 no. Lucia, it's yes. time to go. ever and not only are you great at coaching me and doing the marathon which I won with flying colors but now you and I are gonna make an album together I am so impressed you did I'm I can't so even hear you, you. I'm so, oh my god yeah I'm so impressed I didn't know that aside from running, you have this kind of talent that can make the world go on a standing ovation. It's, it's all you. It's all, all because of you. It's all because of you. tell you I had doubted you I really didn't think that you could be a good coach but now I'm a roach I 
an album that will fill a concert hall. Hey! Anybody have a suggestion for a good song? Okay, the I'll last make a song. The last song? The love last song. The lovely last song. It's a lovely last song. It's a lovely last song. Yeah, I it has to keep me all my life long. Not to mention, this is a good song. This is a sing along. Sing it along. Lovely song. It's our song. Our song. song. I just was outside when I heard you sing it. It's gonna go straight to number one. A song, a song with, song. with me. Another hit! Sweet. <laughs> Number 20 weeks in the pop charts. Yeah. Oh my God. I, you know, I didn't think it was so easy to be a pop star these days, but working with you, Brian, has really <laughs> changed my life. Just, wait a minute. 20 weeks on the pop chart that's right Nelson we've been 20 weeks on the pop chart why are you so surprised well I mean I mean I'm not you, surprised we're very talented but yeah I just never have been at the top of the chart before <gasps> uh, the big leagues, Nelson. Oh. so it, I joined with you guys and we became this trio and jumped straight to the top of the chart. Right to the top. It happened. Also number That's one on the alternative country rock, you know, country. low, wow. low country sound. But you know, that I was mean, there's less people on that one. But who would have known that we could make a record talking about being cowboys doing nothing on the field? I mean, oh. I never thought it would be a hit. I mean, I just did it, you know, because. That's the only song we happened. I never thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, doing nothing on the on the home range. Wow. Wow, on the home on the range. I mean, I no, really, no, I no. Mean, that was another song, Nelson. You go with Scandal. Nothing we got, we, on we, the home. We got to give our props to Lil Nas because I mean, if it wasn't for him, you know, Cowboys wouldn't have been a thing. And and then, you know, he may have seemed like such a cool thing, but you know, we're Cowboys doing nothing. I'm telling you, to celebrate. That's right. I wouldn't know how to do nothing. Yeah, we're cowboys and the cowgirls, and we're just doing nothing on the range. I said we're cowgirls and we're cowboys, just sitting on the place staring at the We're on the range Watching the cattle go by <laughs> We're not herding the sheep All the horses never get a ride We're living the life 
I was just watching and uh, thank you so much to Mark Anderson because this beautiful music that you heard underscoring the set it was him it was Woo! here the musician Mark Yay! Anderson. Yay! <laughs> thank you Mark Anderson and uh, if you would like to also give him some more love uh, we have here the uh, he, the PayPal information well you can contribute here uh, because uh, of his support to in tonight uh, thank you so much Mark Anderson and now it is uh, the moment the moment of the promotion section the promotion section so uh, I would like to encourage everybody uh, anybody who has uh, an upcoming class and workshop uh, for instance or a show uh, to share it uh, with us uh, this is uh, the moment you can also share it on our facebook page on our facebook group uh come on just uh, don't be shy turn on your camera oh my god we have nick nick tell us what's going on <laughs> uh sure a couple things uh, i'll be teaching an online class with the nursery coming up in october so be on the lookout for that uh, the nursery is an improv school uh, and theater out of london so so be on the lookout for that uh, that's all about uh, playing with purpose and playing with a point of view. Mm -hmm. It's called Why Do We Care? So check that out. And then also, many of you know that we have online open court that's been going on for uh, almost the entire pandemic. And we have one more on, actually two more online open courts. So there's one this Wednesday. Uh, and so please join that. And then also one final online open court because then we're going to be going to live open court in, in 3D. Uh, and Faustino is going to be playing MD for us. Faustino, are you there? No. He's around, uh, yeah. but he's not there. But uh, I believe for the 18th, it's going to be our, our final uh, online open court. Maybe not final, but it's going to be the final for a while. And uh, it's going to be a musical online open court. So please, please come to online open court next week and the week after. Hope to see you there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. And that, let's grab this opportunity. The last online uh, temp Janice, Janice, tell us. Um, just uh, and to yourself. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Okay, hi. I'm sorry, Andrea. Can I go? Of course, Janice. Come on, come on. Thank you. Uh, hi, I am a storyteller, and I have several stories on webcast. Um, I do uh, my stories deal with the diversity um, perspective. So I will leave a link in um, and um, I invite you to listen to my stories. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Janice. Uh, so you can, yes, share the link. You can share the link also on Facebook groups so that everybody could listen to your beautiful stories. Uh, yes. So, oh my God, have you Faustino, Faustino, tell us. Hi, everybody. A couple of things. First of all, um, give yourselves a round of applause for just being here at the jam tonight from wherever you happen to be in the world. Hooray! Yay! Uh, 
uh, the last few jams, we've been representing all these three different continents and the fact we got some people who have the ability to do stuff in person. Some people don't have the access to it. Um, the fact that we're still together just proves that we still believe in connecting in any way possible um, happens to be the internet. So thank you for coming in. Um, the jam itself specifically, as well as all the other events are community, den, uh, community driven. The only people getting paid are MDs not named Faustino. Um, so uh, we all can use people's help. Uh, so always looking for volunteers. It doesn't necessarily mean if you wanna help out with the jam specifically, although we are always looking for people to like announce names or time or work with our headliners and that type of stuff. It'd also be just um, sharing the events and inviting them because uh, <laughs> Faustino sends so many invites to people that it's like, you can only send 50 now. And that kind of sucks to get the word out. So please invite people to our jams. Uh, it gives, uh, it makes the jams a lot more fun. We have more people. Uh, it gives more incentive for those who are sharing their talents via the headliners um, and just keep it going because we all believe in it. Um, buy some merch. Um, the last thing I'm going to, the last thing, the other thing I was going to say is uh, um, if you're in Vegas, please hit me up because we do have in-person opportunities via Bleach Improv, uh, One Take, what some of you have seen through the jam, uh, Comedy Sports, uh, UNLV, stuff like that. Just basically, if you're never in Vegas, please hit me up um, because we love, we like to host people in person if you're happy to be in this part of the world. But also, I'm going to kind of break a rule a little bit and everybody, uh, eyes to the chat, please. Everyone put your eyeballs to the chat because um, I've been so busy. I have not been really great about um, doing Facebook events. That is, uh, we're kind of spoiling the headliner a little bit, but that's the Facebook event for next week. Oh my gosh, we did it in advance. So please, if you liked what you're, uh, we've done tonight, please RSVP to the event for next week. That's in the chat. Share it with all of your lovelies in local groups. I'd rather not be the one doing it. And then also like getting banned from Facebook groups that I potentially might MD at. Um, and it's, it's a global group. So if you're a part of that uh, community, like for example, um, I'm from Las Vegas, so I'm always sharing these events with Las Vegas people. Please share the event around, invite people who think that might be, um, that might enjoy just the, the, this online experience that we've created, especially we still doing musical improv online. All right, please check out the link, please support Mark, all the things, and I just love everybody here. Thank you so much for continuing to believe in what we do and just being here. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Faustino, and thank you for founding this great community that uh, helped uh, us all uh, during the, these, these last year and it keeps being a wonderful experience, a fun experience. And uh, so thank you for being the founder. Also give it up for Angel for, for hosting the jam tonight all the way from Sevilla. Big all for you. Thank you. For Angel. Thank you, thank you. Um, Yes. Okay. So, anybody else would like to um, to promote? Uh, oh yeah. Well, something. Oh my God. Yes. We had Brian. Can go uh, ahead. Yeah. So my improv team is doing some live in person shows over the next few weeks, uh, in in Wheaton, Illinois. So if you happen to be in the Chicago suburbs, they sold the shows are actually sold out, which is actually pretty awesome. But I can probably get people seats if there's anyone who wants to come. Let me know. Great. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Brian. I think uh, I saw Don. Don. The new post on the old jam. Mm. What can I tell you? It's been around for a while now. If anybody wants to show up, that would be really cool. It's eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Oh. Oh, we have Hi. We got a genie. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's all. So, uh, yes, uh, please come along. That's on Tuesday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, that's on Tuesdays until it's not. Thanks so much oh. for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Thank you. I, I think I saw Karen. Karen, you would like to share something with us? Yeah. Hey. Uh, this Friday night is improv date night. It is five minute two person scenes. If you're an improviser and you're lonely, show up. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh. Links in the there you go. Okay, thank you, Karen. You can also share share these events on um, the chat on our Facebook group so that everybody um, can join. 
uh, is there anybody else who would like to... Oh, Don, come on, Don. Just another reminder that um, uh, uh, Narada Radio Company has put out Algiers this summer for the Summer Stock 2021. I voice Aisha in this audio drama. Uh, go ahead and give it a download. Listen to, to it on your way to work or while you're working, whatever. Um, Whenever you like to listen to audio or to, to audiobooks, audio dramas, podcasts, and the like. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Seems very interesting. Um, I, I will also also share that I'm part of an um, um, improved team uh, called the Improved Professional. And every Monday, uh, we have a um, half an hour show uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and um, it's on the Facebook page, Socially Distant Improved, if you would like to, to watch. Thank you very much. I think there is uh, no one else here who would like to, to share something for the moment. So, um, so it's, it is time for the headliners to come on. So, um, let's go into... Timeless! Timeless! <laughs> Come on to the stage with welcome, welcome here. We have Linda, we have Peg, we have Ted, Rich, and Kevin. I hope I mentioned everybody. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, timeless, and now the stage is yours. Oh. Hey everybody, uh, we are so super glad that you're here with us here at the Inner City by way of the Double Nickel Virtual Rooftop Lounge and Bar. It's it's such a beautiful time, it's such a beautiful place. We have food, we have, well, let me not get into the marketing stuff. That's not my thing. Uh, I want to introduce you to the gang. So it, it starts and stops with Frank Connor. Frank is here somewhere. Frank, do you mind coming out? And He's a busy guy. Hey Frank. Frank is saying that he is excited about this week's special. Here he is to tell you about it live. Yes, that's right. This week, we are having a big, big special. We are having fried chicken on top of bacon. It is called the Baconerator. That is what we're offering this week. Thanks, Frank. Frank wants to introduce you to the next person in the gang. Uh, that is the lovely Frida Conchita. Hi, everybody. And we have some wonderful Iowan specials this week. First on the list is fried catfish. You know that us Iowans love eating our catfish. And we also have fried morel mushrooms and taco pizza. That's a big Iowan favorite. So come on down. We want you to be part of our family. And if you come down here as a stranger, you're going to be a friend. As soon as you're a friend, you might as well be in our family. So come on down. I'm going to introduce you to our lovely bartender, Patty Lowry, who makes the best drinks this side of Davenport. Looks like Patty is. is yep. <laughs> Patty is so excited. She is almost above the ability for people to hear her. Let, let me just oh, hang on. Sorry. Let me just it's tune going, in the old double it's nickel going dial. There around. we go. I think those aliens we had here last week took our voice. Woo. Anyway, I just want to tell you I'm excited because we have so many fried specials that our special drink, wait till you hear it, it's going to be a fried teeny. It's the alcohol of mm. your choice. Uh, and it's going to be house brands, but it's going to be alcohol of your choice with a flaming olive. Wait till you see how we figured out how to flame olives. But listen, I just really want to see you so bad. And remember that you can find me every day on TikTok with my affirmations. And today's affirmation is, I want to see you so badly. You're going to come down here. Bye-bye. I want you to meet, let's uh, meet my very good friend, my very good friend, MC DJ Slash. And he's a hunk. Just I'm saying. A, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. 
on the on the wall. Uh, um, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, hey, Patty. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm uh, I'm MCPJ Slash. You know, know me from St. Ambrose College. If you're listening on Thursday nights from three to six a.m., I uh, got got the show over there at uh, 80, 89.9. I'm trying to remember if that was the frequency or was that the other. Uh, but anyways, listen. I'm going to be spinning some tunes for you here at the bar. Here, uh, we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of. Uh, uh, only the lonely for motels here we got a little bit of bonnie rate going on here uh we got a little bit of uh, uh the buckinghams here mercy 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 and we got a little bit of uh uh talking head sphere of music there Yay! like like the tune about uh the bar in heaven that is a place where nothing nothing ever happens this place uh and the and the person who may be maybe <laughs> responsible for a lot of stuff that's happening that hasn't that got to do the do with the music that is uh my idol the entertainment god himself uh running running zucchini Zook. Hey, Zook. i would be sorely amiss if i didn't accept all of your love and gratitude but I do want to bounce back to Frank. Frank had one more thing that he wanted to say. Frank, can, do you mind? I know you're really busy. Do you mind coming back and just saying one more quick thing? Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want people to know about this. It is Nerd Week here in town, and we are going to be offering a drink special called Socks on the Beach. And for an extra <laughs> buck, you can get flip-flops to go with it. You get a free pair of flip-flops for a dollar. So it's kind of free-ish. That's our drink special this week. Love it. Love it. Uh, I am so glad that we have a hardwood floor because there's going to be so many people in and out. We would wear out the rugs this week. Uh, I am Arzuk. I welcome you here to the Double Nickel Virtual Rooftop Lounge and Bar. Uh, I'm sure that you probably know me from a lot of different things. I'm currently working on, uh, I just I just had lunch with Vince Vaughn, Serena Williams, and Kate Winslet. We're redoing the Three Stooges Short Half Wits Holiday. Uh, so you might mean, have mean to see me over there. Uh, but this week we are super focused. It's International Cat Day, guys, and there are cats on the minds of all of us. Howdy. Slash, you seen Patty yeah. around? Yeah, no peg, no. I, 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 I think she's, uh, I think she's off, off, going to the bathroom for a second there. So you know, so cat we week. It's yeah. International Cat Week. Does that mean people are supposed to bring their cats to work? Hi, Patty. Um, she keeps uh, losing her voice. Oh, that's. Uh, don't yeah, swear. That, don't see. Has, she has it allergy to C A T S. So like anytime cats get mentioned. You know, that's, oh, that, see, now I said it. There, she went away. Oh, you chased her away. Mm. Uh, I you know. just don't know if it's going to go with the sanitary laws to let cats in the dining room. I don't think we can do that. Well, cats can be very, definitely uh, clean animals there. You know, I mean, especially, I mean, we got, you know, I, I saw the litter box set up by the by the restrooms. You know, When's the last time you sniffed the litter box? I mean, wasn't that Josh's job to change the litter box? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but he never yeah. did. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, uh, no. They, they, uh, I, I hey think guys, I sorry. I just, I just hey. got to call Josh. Uh, Josh called out. So, so what I'm else? Gonna, do? I'm gonna grab the boxes from Amazon. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Josh. Jessica, this has been a day. I'm so sorry. I know you were calling me earlier. Caroline dropped the dogs off. The dogs? It's not Evidently, dog week. It's cat week. Well, the dogs it, are going to go crazy chasing the cats. Oh, um, uh, listen, okay. I got. I got to go get the scoop and see about see about the box. I'll, I'll you know, I'll I'll take care of it now. Josh is out again. Great. Let's get calm. Let's get calm. It's so, not like she's ever going to ask me. Or let me know anything like this ahead of time. She just dropped him off. She said, I have a rehearsal. I mean, obviously, I can't leave work right. to take the dogs home. Or to, So, I'm, you know, and if Josh isn't here, what a blessing. I can keep them in the back room. 
Okay, as long as they don't get out, because if we actually have cats in here, all hell's going to break loose. You know Well, that. I can't believe you let cats in here. That's just crazy. I think that it's against crazy. the sanitary laws. I what? I think better talk to Frank. It's against the, the Board of Health laws, isn't it? Someone mentioned my name. Frank. Yes. What is this about Cat Week? How can we allow cats in the dining room? That movie will never be shown in my bar. I Not promise. <laughs> Frank. It's terrible. Frank. Really. It's uh. a terrible thing to have to find out a surprise every week from you. But you I kinda love should be how used to it. crazy you are, but sometimes it just won't do. Cats in the bar is impossible. Please Cats in the make bar it stop. Is not possible. Cats, Cats in the bar is not possible. Cats in the bar is not possible. Cats in the bar is inconceivable. Thank you. Cats in the bar is unbelievable. I just booked the stray cats. They'll be here tonight. I can't I wait until they jump here up on the stage. members none but that's fine because they will play all of the songs like sexy and 17 just as if they were the original band but by way of a disclaimer they're not stray cats are inconceivable Stray cats are unbelievable. Stray cats are not even real. And only one can get a new life in our bar tonight. I knew Slash wasn't going for it. Mm. I, I, it's, it's, uh, I'm sifting. I'm sifting. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Frank, but this has got me in a mood now. Mm. You know, I'm always the happy one. I'm always the supportive one. But I have dogs, and now dealing with cats. Yes, I had a special in the back room. I know, here's, but here's still. the difference. Here's the difference. Cats use the litter box. Dogs do not. That's why we have cats instead of dogs in the bar. Frank, cats do not change their own litter box, which is much worse smelling than any kind of dog doo-doo. Dogs don't change Frank, anything either. Listen, doesn't it just make so much sense? Since since Frida is featuring fried foods, and that's what you promoted mm. for the bar, wouldn't it make more sense for us to have a flaming martini of some kind? Like... A fried martini, any well drink oh. with a flaming olive. And a fried shrimp. You can say fried, but you can't say flaming. It's culturally insensitive, don't you know? That's say, one I haven't heard before. No. What's wrong with being flaming? Ooh. There's nothing wrong with being flaming, but some people are offended. So let's just let everybody be who they are. Uh, Before I... this whole night gets upended. I understand now. And 
Welcome at the Double Nickel. Double Nickel. Double Nickel. Paul McCartney has an album called Flaming Pot. I have an idea for the drink, Patty. Oh, what's that? Come back. Up. Okay, yep. so we have a fried morel mushroom on the side. Along with the olive. The, an olive and a fried mushroom. Fried mushroom. That That's our specialty side dish. Now, if you make it crispy, we have to be cautious because it might get soggy in the drink. You, you know, when the staff rim. gets busy, yep. they can't you put it over the rim and you don't fill it all the way up. Oh, okay. It's like they put a, a shrimp over Bloody Mary. You hook it over the side of the glass. It'll stay right there. Do you know, that reminds me of peculiar things that we don't really imagine. And I just kind of wanted to make sure we were all square on the idea of aliens. I know there was some confusion about it last week. Space aliens, creatures, monsters. Yes, That's it behind was us alien now, right? week. As, as, wait a minute, Frank said that we have to call them extraterrestrial native inhabitants that's culturally correct but are they native really to their planets i see it's all making sense to me now but those green things that we saw in the dining room i was told they weren't real but they sure look real. Regardless, I think our bar could use a reputation of a the place unusual? that welcomes everyone. Hmm. I think our bar is welcoming to all, no matter where they come from that's a good point what do you think Rita I agree this place is a refuge for all people of any world this place is a haven for all people no matter where they're from Everybody's home is the double nickel. We're everybody's home. Which is why we are all such a family. Everybody's home is the double nickel. Everybody's home is the double nickel. Everybody's home is the double nickel where all of us are family. It makes sense. That's our slogan. Come on down and join our family. I think Frank's got the right idea. Everybody belongs here no matter what. No question. What did you want to say to me about, Slash? You asked to meet just the two of us here. Yeah, uh, Zook, oh my gosh, Zook. Yeah. Uh, What's it's up? just, I'm going crazy. I'm trying to keep up with, you know, Nerd Night and Cat Night here. And it's and it's like, you know, and I've got, and, and, and Josh left behind his, he brought in two cats himself and then took off and left me to clean up after his cats, Barry and Zimbra. And, and you know, I'm just trying to spin some like hip tunes or whatever. It's like, and, and the cats are getting up on the turntables and, uh, and Barry, Zimbra, no. Oh, oh. Oh. I, this is not what scratching is supposed to be here. This, 
the, the cat thing. It's like, it's, I don't think it's funny anymore. You gotta oh, open your oh, mind, God. man. You gotta open your mind. Maybe that is what scratching is now. I'm gonna nice. open I'm not sure, but I think I may have just adopted somebody. Is that a thing that happens in the bar now? Yeah. Wow. A person or somebody fuzzy? Um, um, a little of both. Nice. It's better than catfishing. Barry, Barry down. Barry, no, no, not the Bob. Don't do the Bob. Don't, don't touch that. Don't touch that. <laughs> Uh, hang on one second completely wet the cup Mick can I call you back yeah. tell Keith to get out of the bathtub that's no place to yes okay no I said I'll call you back oh, come on Mick I can't get no satisfaction <laughs> okay he's bye talking, he's talking to you're talking to them you're talking to your are you bringing them in tonight? Is that what's happening or what? They love cats. Yeah, they'll be here around 6.30. Oh. They love cats. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I think that's a much better choice than the, the Ted Nugent idea. I'm just... Me cat too. Catch you fever. Right. I get it. Yeah. But, mm, no. I'm not, I'm, I will not play a stranglehold. Sorry, I'm not, not into it. No, sorry. <sighs> it was such a good song, but it's so wrong. Yeah, it's pretty wrong. It's, it's, Guys, this is so exciting! We have a whole room of cats. We just need some some people to come in, and we're gonna adopt all of these cats. Meow. Meow. Oh, Over there. Zimbra is tearing apart my copy of the Buckingham's Greatest Hits. That's just. Meow. Meow. Oh, that was that. That was that. Oh, mercy! Oh, mercy! Yes. Oh. There's a cat on the bar. Meow. There's a cat in the bar. There's a cat on the table, too. There's a cat on the turn table. There's a cat opening the curtains to let in the sun. There's cats everywhere. There's They're a everywhere. The table. There's a cat eating a loose meat sandwich. Must be local. There's a cat eating catfish. Double points on a Scrabble board. There's a the cat. cats ate all the mushrooms. I have to go make them. Being identified. All that you see when you look around are cats. And cat litter. I tried to clean it up. Listen to me. This is what you it's all about. You did your best. What's my feline? <laughs> What's my feline this time? Cat could be the What's... mystery guest. I've got Gary Setzer coming. Maybe he'll sit in with some cats. And we've got Part such nice natural lighting. We don't need to sing about moonlight. Maybe Bobby we could Burns. get, maybe we could get the movie cats to show it to them all. Oh. Absolutely not. Oh. Frank, you've got the best heart. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, this one over here. That one that agreed with with uh, Zook that we ought to adopt out cats. That is such a sweet idea. I, th I think it's a great idea because then the cats can go to a new home and I won't have to listen to people complaining about all the cats in the bar anymore. So it works out for everybody, really. Yeah, but it's kind of a twist that you've got the cats in the bar in the first place. It's okay, Frank. We love you for your crazy ideas and for letting us run the bar. <laughs> Who runs the bar? 
Well, so oh. you don't have to work, so you can be creative. Oh, okay. Like coming up with new drink specials. I'll get right on tomorrow night. Drink specials are so much more benign than a bar full of cats. But you guys, let me tell you, last week, it was intergalactical space creatures. Just be glad you weren't there. Of course, they were all welcome. They're always welcome because we're family. Patty, uh, oops. Sorry to what, interrupt what, what? your TikTok. No, I'm sorry. I just had to check on the dogs. I didn't mean to interrupt your TikTok. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. That's all right. um, hey, uh, so um, I think Frank might have adopted a cat. It's his club. Well, we need to get some, you know, we need to get a bowl and some litter and a litter box. And Frank's not going to think about that stuff, I don't think. So... I, I think you're right, but I think I'm a little busy here. You know, we're frying mushrooms and olives, and maybe you could take care of that little thing. You need some if, cash? Yeah, I just need some uh, some petty cash, uh, and I'll run down to Joe's. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to borrow the double nickel chopper. What? The hog. The double nickel motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, not that familiar with biker lingo. Here, I need you to sign this, sweetie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, be right back. Um, well, put your name, put your signature on it. That's for the cash that you just took to buy the right. cat stuff. You know, All maybe right. you want to get them a carrier, too. Good idea. Good plan. All right. I'll be back in, like, less than five minutes. Wait. Daddy. What? Did I just hear that Frank actually adopted one of those creatures? Of course, Frank adopted a cat. I'm lucky he didn't adopt my dogs at the same time. It's it's Frank. He's soft-hearted, you know? but he's also soft in the head. Watch it. What was that? Don't quote Rita, me. did you adopt a cat too? Oh. Oh. It is kind of cute. What a cutie. Frank, it looks just like you, except it's got more hair. And it's a little less gray. I'd say a little more gray. You think so? All right, as long as you take care of it and keep it out of the dining room, okay? Doesn't she just sound like a mother? I promise, Mom. Okay, Sonny. <laughs> Somebody's got to keep that guy straight. I know, it's just crazy. But don't you just go nuts every once in a while trying to trying to help Frank win? Yeah. I mean, it's nice that he gives us kind of free reign at the bar, but... He's a strange boss. And I'm at a loss to define him. He's an odd man, but if you can, you have to like him. He's one of a kind, you know. Yeah. And he lets you have the run of the place. And the cats too. We do all right here with Frank. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't want any other boss. It's like not having a boss. <laughs> That's the best part. It's like having a kitten. <laughs> You're right. He's our own kitten. Yeah, he's our guy. Hey, I gotta get busy. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, me too. I gotta wipe off the tables. Well, we've had a lovely time. You know, International Cat Day just turned into International Cat Week. It, it, it's, it's all one big love fest in here because, you know, if you think about it, 
There's a lot of different ways to describe the double nickel, but everybody's home is the double nickel. 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 Check it out! You're all family and we love you. This is the Double Nickel family. We want to send a shout out to all the people that are watching us right now in all the corners of the world, in all the places where you can watch things. Whether you're in person or not, we don't care. We want to send you out big, big love because we love you the way you are, the way you're shaped, the way you look. That's what we love about you. We want you to come into the Double Nickel so we can have an outpouring of love for you. Even if you're from outer space. Because everybody's home is a double nickel. Everybody's home. When they're at the double nickel. Double nickel. Thank, Thank you so much for having us in your city. We love you. Our first Thank musical. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Time Faustino. Thank you, Timeless. Uh, we will also. Thank you, Mark. Like yeah, thank you, Thank Mark. you, thank, thank you, Mark. Mark. It was thank you, Mark. wonderful music. Send your love yes. to Mark. Look in the chat. Yeah, lots of love to Mark. And uh, so, Timeless, we would also like to uh, give you the floor if you want to promote um, your team, uh, if you want to share with us some upcoming events also. Uh, so we perform with the Vintage Improv Festival monthly. Mm -hmm. We're on the first Sunday of most months. Be on the lookout for this next month because in September, which is uh, the next month that's coming, I believe, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Thirty days yeah. September. Yeah, yeah. Uh, will be the Vintage Improv Festival, which we will be appearing right. at. But it might change our schedule around of when we actually appear. Mm -hmm. That's what I know. What do y'all know? Well, it's not going to be. I think we're going to be in the second Sunday. So that means Please. during the festival, I do believe. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. doubles. So we'll keep you posted. I'm sure one of us, I'm sure I'll be back on a, a Sunday night at some point to and play. Well, if if, if then, you have a time machine. We right before we came here and did this show, we did another show that was totally different, like yeah. five minutes before we got here. So, so if you got a time machine, go back and check that out. Or you and can catch it. and I'll It'll tell you, YouTube. we also have a, a YouTube. YouTube channel. Yeah. Ooh, and we have up. a page on Facebook, so you can follow what's going on there, there, and get a link to all of our episodes. We are now. This is season two, episode four. Oh. So, uh, or maybe three. I don't know if we're going to get a video of this or not, but it depends. Okay. So. Thanks for asking. Th thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We love Woo. playing here. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Timeless presenting Double Nickel. And uh, um, thank you because we also know um, uh, many uh, Timeless members because it's the third time I think they are playing with us, being the headliners. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there are uh, lots of people that um, are used to come here to the jams to help us. And um, thank you again to Mark Anderson for this beautiful music. I'd like to say that this you, was Timeless's debut as a musical improv team, and it's all because of Mark. We have never right. done that before. Yeah. Woo! First time ever. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for inspiring. Uh, you want to share something uh, with us, Mark? If you have some, uh, um, I don't know, promoting some... Well, um, starting after Labor Day, I can be found in the music room of Free Orchards Elementary School in Corneliusburg. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank, yeah. 
Thank, thank you, Mark. You already know. If you want to share some more love with him, uh, we have here the information about his paper. So feel free to tip him also. Thank you, Mark. And uh, I would like to thank also our great volunteers because Intercity is well a community. So please, all the volunteers that were here tonight, turn on your cameras. Yeah. Let's go and let's all give it up for Intercity Volunteers! Thank you so much! Uh, here, um, as the volunteers, we are here. Um, so, uh, every, not every jam, uh, to, to help um, to go on with this great community that was created one day. It was born on Faustino's mind, Faustino's mind, and now it's a big community all around the world. And now um, it's time to discover who's the headliner for next week. Oh my God, who is this headlining team? So, yeah, Angel, who is the headlining team next week? Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, I need some drum rolls, some drum rolls for this. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can see the information. It's a little bit not clear yet. We have here tonight's jam and I'm now dun, 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 dun. The, so, it's the mystery continues here now oh my god uh, <laughs> suspense is growing <laughs> next week headlining team is dun, 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 dun. The Improfessionals! Yeah. yeah! It's the second time Improfessionals, this international team, will be this. And there is a person right there that looks like me. It is not fair. It is not my twin sister. I have one, but it's another person. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, come back next week because it will be also a great experience. Or not, but we will work to be a great experience. So fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Linda. And now, now uh, we will have a wonderful line game. Oh my god. And I will invite Brian Sebi, who will be uh, leading this line game. Game, Brian Sebi. <laughs> So tonight, earlier on, we learned that Texas is not real, and that <laughs> cats, I think, are also not real, or something like I. But tonight, our line game is going to be the game of misinformation, because clearly there's not enough of that on the internet. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to give a bunch of suggestions, and you're going to come up, and you're going to use that to make a joke punchline about that, that just tells some incorrect fact about it. Like, if Justin was bananas, I could, might say, like, hey, did you know that bananas are, like, the biggest gossips in the fruit kingdom because they just get together in bunches and just cabin dish about each other. <laughs> yeah, puns about that quality. So uh, if we could get um, a suggestion of maybe uh, an object or something that we can make up some fake facts about. Pizza. Pizza. So let's get some, I'll, and turn your camera, I'll, I'll point to you to go so that way just so we don't step on each other. But um, Greg. Pizzas are triangular. <laughs> Who knew? They, they cut them in the circles after they make the whole triangle. Uh, Linda. Pizza is traditionally the way the government gets into your brain. <sighs> they are very much in my brain that that's the case. Oh, no. Uh, Rick. It's a little known fact that uh, pizza, which is typically delivered in uh, slices of eight, used to be delivered in slices of 10, but it was very difficult to hold them in place. So they had to use glue. And that's why it's so hard to get pizza that's 10, glue 10 free. Glue 10 free. It's there. Uh, it's because pizza is now sliced into eight instead of ten that America has gotten fatter. Probably. It's easier to eat more. Uh, Faustino. 
I don't know what y'all are thinking or what you believe or don't believe, but I'm pretty sure all these pizzas are out murdering each other. You just gotta check <laughs> underneath the tombstones. <laughs> Whatever pizza you're talking about, Patty Lowry behind there, which she's got, that's <laughs> fake booze. <laughs> <laughs> all right, can we get a suggestion of... Uh, and Brian Fosina, you're in the burn box. All right. Uh, can we get a suggestion of maybe um, what's maybe uh, a location like uh, Lincoln, have, Nebraska? Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, let's find out, Falcino. What's something we don't know about Lincoln, Nebraska? Oh my gosh, Lincoln, Nebraska is a thing. Oh my ha! <laughs> <laughs> Burn box. You know, Lincoln, Nebraska is right next to John Wilkes Booth, Nebraska. Uh, Greg. <laughs> Lincoln, Nebraska. That sounds like a city in Oklahoma. Lincoln, Nebraska is the entertainment capital of the United States. Yep. They say made in Hollywood, actually made in Lincoln. Rick. Please get off of my lawn. I live here in 1811 Gettysburg. Uh, I, I live right over there. 1812 is my address. Gettysburg address. <laughs> uh. DJ, DJ Flash, Slash, sorry. Uh, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, it's, it's little known as named after a famous knight. Uh, due to the uh, abbreviation there, this is the knight who occasionally says me. All right, there we go. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, yeah, what, what's the phrasing of this one? It's um, they uh, I I heard that people in uh, uh Lincoln, Nebraska, um, they uh, they're really into voodoo, because uh, they make um all of their uh, little voodoo dolls, um, out of whatever's around in the environment. Uh, their nickname is the uh, Voodoo Corn Huskers. <laughs> <laughs> voodoo, you do. I hear that they're phasing out Lincoln, Nebraska. Now it's going to be Susan B. Anthony, Nebraska. <laughs> you know what, Rick? I'm going to put you in the burn box. You already done one. Uh, can we get maybe a um, uh, um, something? You, what's an occupation that we we don't really know so much about that we could? Brian's one. Stop. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Brian's job is that what it is? Like Brian's job. My job. <laughs> Brian's okay, job. Got it. Those are the things that you don't know about my job. All right. No, no, no. You don't start in the submarine. You start over here in this smaller one. We call it a sebi. Uh, <laughs> um, oh. no. uh, okay, I I apologize. This is gonna be an offensive one, but um, I'm not sure how much Brian actually weighs, but I can always assume it's probably a wee ton. <laughs> oh, oh, that's terrible. I feel like I feel like Brian's job probably has something to do with cloth. <laughs> Brian, I know that you are a scientist. You work on a nuclear station and during your um during your free time, you just play as being a jammer, but actually, you can make all of us explode. <laughs> I do work at a place that, that design nuclear reactors, although we, we put them in Idaho so they wouldn't bother us. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't believe this is the actual Brian. Um, this may be Brian Sebi. It could not be Brian Sebi. Uh, there actually is a bunch of Brian Sebbies, because if you check his email address, uh, it's uh, a Gmail address labeled Brian S. <laughs> Faustino, thank the you plural. for entering my, e my email address. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. What? No, that's not what I meant. You know, any jokes about his social security number? Yeah. Just say it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> sorry. Hey, hey, is this thing on? Hey, guys. Uh, Brian Sebi, look at his surroundings, right? Am I right? I mean, here's a guy, I don't know if he's married or not, but he's always screaming engage. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> all right, just to get away from me, Don, put you I'm in the box. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Object of some sort that we, or or maybe okay. a band. All or right, something. all right. What is it? Object or a brand of some sort. Muzzle. A muzzle, like 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 from a muzzle? gun muzzle or yeah, like that kind of a, a muzzle, gun muzzle. Or it could be okay, a muzzle. Okay. Oh, or a dog or a gun, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't spend too much time. I got to go to California to Muzzle Beach. <laughs> um, for those who uh, who lived in the uh, the nineties, um, you know when they first tried to tr uh, train children to use proper phonics um, with the little animated animals on parade. Um, the four they didn't think that was a good idea. They used to actually like point guns at the kids to learn their en their English grammar. Um, and the box used to be called uh, Muzzles. Um, it's too much intense, so then they changed it to Muzzy instead. A little more kid friendly. Hey. Nobody knows what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like in Harry Potter, you know, where they originally ah. they were going to have the wizards like just shoot all the people. They're like, no, they're not Muzzle, they're Muggles. <laughs> oh, but... All right, someone do one more so we can end it. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Great minds think alike. I was going to come on with that one, Brian. Uh, really? All right, guys. We just want to thank the NRA for having us here tonight. Uh, we are a cover band of Squeeze, and we're going to finish with our last song, Pulling Muzzles from a Shell. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh God. But I'm bummed. Rim shot. If you guys want to visit me in person, you just go from Wheat and you turn south on the on <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> down a little bit over towards where to go to college and you go south from there. Fine, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just <laughs> want to let everyone know. All right. Uh, Angel, back to you. To close oh, up. thank you. Thank you, Brian, for this uh, so funny line <laughs> game, for this great experience. And in the now, oh my God, this jam is coming to an end. It's so sad, but uh, we will keep on um, with the jams uh, every Sunday. So, oh All my right. God. In the now, um, I would like to thank everybody who participated in the jam and we invite you to turn on your cameras because we are going to do our final picture <laughs> oh yeah turn oh, what? Oh, it's... and uh, then we can uh, later remember this great moment uh i was faustino faustino thank you also for for being our tech tonight <gasps> What Thank a good-looking bunch of people. I just have to put that out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Faustino, can you take our picture, group picture? Yes, uh, group picture we shall. Um, everyone go ahead and make a pose. And let me see if I remember how to do this. What? Oh, uh, hold on. I forgot that I macroed my computer. To... Ah, don't worry. I, I can, I can, um... Yeah, I'm I so can... sorry. I, I'm yeah. not stuck the keyboard. I can, <laughs> I can do it. I took one. I, I, I got it. Ah, okay, okay. Pause again. Okay, okay. again. Another one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, now I'm... There we go. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, every everybody for thank this great, you. Uh, yeah, thank this you. great, great thank evening. And now it is time to um to go offline, to go offline. And but after that, we'll also have our picture our uh, our opportunity to make the uh, collective drawing also oh, but right. now now it's moment to say goodbye to everybody who is watching us on facebook goodbye everybody bye -bye. thank you say goodbye do the sign off All our family. and this was the long form <laughs> improv jam <laughs> Jane.